this gait is a myopathic gait. Uh, with myopathies, usually we have weakness in the pelvic girdle region. And as I walk, if I can't stabilize my pelvis, then what ends up happening is, is that for the weight-bearing leg, I'm trying to stabilize the hip, and I'm coming off with the other, the pelvis will then dip or drop towards the non-bearing extremity. Now, if I continue in this attitude, I'll fall. In order to compensate for that, I'm going to shift my weight, and I'm going to try to put it over the weight-bearing leg. And so I'm going to actually swing the body towards weight-bearing leg and trying to get hyperlordotic and lock back over the, uh, the hip that's stabilizing or is, is, is actually supporting the weight. So what this will happen is, is that there will be a waddle as the pelvis will actually drop, come back up, drop on the other side, and go back and forth instead of being nice and perpendicular to where it, sh it should be um, to, the way, to the leg. So again, this is what it would look like. Yes, if, I'm, if I'm going to walk, as I take this step, the pelvis will drop, I'll shift this way, and then as I come through, I'll shift this way, the pelvis will drop on the opposite side, and there will be a waddle. I'm in the hyperlordotic position, trying to maintain my balance. Okay. So the, the pelvis drops, shifting to the opposite side.